The Latissimus dorsi originates on a number of areas. First, it originates on T7 through T12, so the lower half of the thoracic spinous processes, all of the lumbar spinous processes, so L1 through 5, the iliac crest posterior lip, thoracolumbar fascia, which will be coming off of here, and the muscular slips front of ribs 9 through 12. So this pretty big muscle will go superiorly to insert on the bicipital groove, which is also known as the intertubercular sulcus. So here we have our humerus. It's the left humerus, anterior side. The intertubercular sulcus is right here. The innervation for the latissimus dorsi is the thoracodorsal nerve, C6, 7, and 8. A fun rhyming way to remember this is keep the lats straight, 6, 7, 8. The blood supply is easy to remember because it has the same name as the nerve having the thoracodorsal artery. So thoracodorsal nerve, thoracodorsal artery. The open chain action for latissimus dorsi you can remember as the handcuff muscles because when you are being handcuffed you do arm extension, a deduction, internal rotation, and scapular depression. The closed chain action of this muscle is trunk elevation. Latissimus dorsi handcuff muscles, open chain actions, arm extension, internal rotation, adduction, and scapular depression. Arm extension, internal rotation, adduction, and scapular depression.